Okay, so you've migrated a website from one host to another and it doesn't display. So here's an example. Here's a, a website we've just migrated. The homepage looks like that. But actually what we're expecting is this. This is the um, QFA website uh, home. So why is this and why is that the case? So when you migrate a website, uh, we have a bunch of files and we also have a database. And sometimes uh, website hosts change the prefix on the database uh, to the WordPress standard or they change it away from the WordPress standard to something different. When you migrate it, sometimes that piece of configuration doesn't always come across. So what you'll see is this. You'll see a website where you know that the data has migrated because you'll see the files. You can see the media library uh, inside of the uploads directory. Um, but looking at the website itself, um, under posts, for example, you won't see anything. Uh, it'll look very um, WordPress standard. Under pages, you won't see anything. And so it doesn't quite look right. So let me show you what's going on here. If we have a look at the database, we'll see that we've got a bunch of tables. And we can see these ones here, starting with BLV underscore. And if we uh, scroll through the, the um, pages of database tables here, you'll also see the WP underscore. So those WP underscore ones are the default uh, installation. And this is mapped in a configuration file in the root of WordPress. So simply what's going on here is we've got all the files and folders, but there's three characters that say WP underscore that actually just need to say BLV underscore so that the database and the file system actually match, where at the moment, the database has got this other set of tables, which are WordPress default, but they don't quite actually match. So let's see how we fix that. So the way to do this is to um, come and log in. So the way to do this is come log in to your server. Um, you will need to be on the server to do this, or you'll need FTP access. And what we're gonna do is go into uh, the root of our website, and we're going to edit the um, wp-config.php. I'm just going to use nano here because I'm on the server using SSH. And what we're looking for is uh, the database prefix or the table prefix. And that's usually just down here. There we go. You can look for table prefix, and you can see just here it says wp underscore. So we're just going to delete those, and we're going to put blv underscore instead. And of course, the BLV underscore matches these tables in here as well. So we don't need to change anything on the database. We just need to change how WordPress is and what WordPress is looking at. Now I'm inside of Nano, so I'm going to push Control and uh, X on my keyboard. It's going to say, do you want to save the buffer? And then I'm going to go Shift and Y to say yes and hit Enter. And now WordPress is pointing at those BLV tables instead. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go back, have a look at the homepage again. And all of a sudden, everything is now looking the way it should be. Okay, this is our staging domain. And this is our live domain. And I can get rid of that database window now. And if I come log in uh, to the admin, When I'm now looking at this in admin, I will be able to go to posts and I'll see all of our posts and our content under pages. I'll see those pages and the media library will now be full of all the media that we know is on disk but wasn't showing up previously. Um, so that is how you fix a website when you migrate it that does not uh, display correctly. Thanks very much for watching. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe below. We'll see you in the next video.